casual streetwear is Justin Bieber and Haley Baldwin's area of expertise, which they proved on November 12th. Just the night prior Justin's ex, Selena Gomez, rocked Twitter by giving Julia Michaels an onstage kiss. So, we're still recovering from the pleasant surprise of watching Selena Gomez, 27, kiss her music collaborator Julia Michaels, 26, on November 11th. While we're still in the throes of shipping the sweet moment, Selena's ex Justin Bieber, 25, and model Haley Baldwin, 22, gave us yet another thing to fangirl over the next day. That would be the married couple's outfits they wore for a casual lunch date in Los Angeles on November 12th, which should serve as the reference point for anyone who wants to dress down without sacrificing style. Justin stuck to his usual skater aesthetic in a graphic print gray hoodie, checkered aquamarine surf shorts, sneakers from Jerry Lorenzo's Nike Air Fear of God collection and of course, one piece from the Beeb's own label, a Drew Beanie. Meanwhile, Haley reminded us of the late Princess Diana yet again in a get-up reminiscent of 80s and 90s post-workout wear. Instead of biker shorts, a Dynasty D favorite, Haley threw an oversized logo sweater over charcoal leggings. Like her husband, the model rocked a hat imprinted with sans serif typography, a dead giveaway for any trendy streetwear brand. Haley and Justin wore chill outfits for a chill day, which is not how we describe the night prior. With no warning, Selena shocked delighted fans by hopping on the stage at Julia's concert inside Los Angeles Fonda Theater on Monday night. Selena's last big live performance was at Coachella in April, making the surprise even more grand. Selena and Julia performed their collab Anxiety, and to top off the night, Selena planted a smooch right on her friend's lips. Selena even shared a photo of the iconic moment to her Instagram story the next day. Selena has made a grand return to the music scene with the release of her singles Lose You to Love Me and Look at Her Now in October, both of which seem to be farewells to the singer's past relationship with Justin, at least, fans thought so. While Selena won't name the man who served as the song's muse, she did admit that the songwriting process was tough. I wrote Lose You to Love Me in the beginning of the year. We were in LA and I was just going to go in the studio for a session. I wasn't quite sure what was going to come of it, and within two hours, even an hour, we basically wrapped up the song. I mean a lot of pain went behind the song but it ended up being something that is beautiful, Selena said in a serious XM interview on October 28th.